Instance parameters are useful for when you want to include a dynamic value but allow the user to choose what that value will be. Instance parameters can be set inside of the app definition. I have a simple app that is a text field which shows up when I create a new blog post. Let's go ahead and create a new blog post now. As you can see we have a title field and in the input it says add some text as the placeholder. If I look at the code you can see we have a simple app which uses the Forma 36 text input and has a hard-coded placeholder of add some text. Instance parameters will allow us to get a value which can be assigned per field and per content type. Going back into the app definition of my app and scrolling down to the bottom of the configuration you'll see that there's a place to add instance parameters. I'm going to go ahead and click this add instance parameter button and let's create a new instance parameter that will be our placeholder text. Now a description is optional but it helps explain the purpose of the parameter. In our case I think having a display name of placeholder text is good enough. The instance parameter here is going to be a type of short text, but as you can see, there are different values that can be used. We'll use short text, and we'll add a default value of this is a placeholder. When we add an instance parameter, we'll see it show up in a table below. We'll be able to check its ID, the display name, and the type. We also have an option to edit or remove this instance parameter. I'm going to save the app definition and head back over to our content model. Inside of our content model, I'm going to access our blog post content type and check out the title field. In the appearance tab, you'll see that we do have my app as the selected app for showing a text input. Here we see where our instance parameter comes into play. This value here can be changed to allow for each content type that uses this specific app to have its own instance parameter value, which we can then access in the SDK to allow for a dynamic value instead of hard coding our placeholder text. In our case for the blog post, I'm going to say add a title. I'm going to confirm these changes and save the content type. Back in our editor, I'm going to replace our hard-coded placeholder text with instance parameters that we just set. I can do this by accessing the SDK. I'll access props and the SDK then on the SDK, I'm going to access parameters. We're going to look into the instance parameters. In order to access the instance parameter that we created, we need to call it by its ID. In this case, the ID was placeholder text. Back in Contentful, we can see that the placeholder text says add a title, which is the input that we gave in our content model when we set the instance parameters. Again, this allows editors or people who modify content inside of Contentful to change values without having to modify code. To illustrate, if I go back into the content model and go back to my blog post, we can again change the placeholder text to say something else. For instance, I can make it say add a blog title. I'm going to save these changes and go back to my content once more and go to the blog post that we just created. As you can see, add a blog title is now showing up as my placeholder text because I'm modifying instance parameters, which requires no further code changes.